Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create gated reverb in Reaper. Now, the idea of gated reverb was made popular in the 80s by an artist named Phil Collins, where it's an explosive sound that's really dense and powerful but it cuts off abruptly, which is the opposite of how reverb usually sounds, where it fades out gradually. But that cutoff, or where it stops, usually creates another rhythm, which I find very interesting. So let's take a look at how to do it in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a drum machine and a piano. And it sounds like this. And the drums sound kind of boring. So let's make it more interesting with a gated reverb. And we'll start off putting one on the snare. So let's solo the snare track. Let's make a new track down here for the reverb. And we'll call it gated reverb. Let's give it a color. And let's put a reverb on this track. Now, the reverb we pick isn't that important just needs to sound big and powerful. But because we're using Reaper, let's choose one of theirs. So I'm gonna choose Reverbate right here. And because we're using this effect as send and return, we'll bring down the dry and bring up the wet to zero. This way we're only hearing the effect on this track. So now we'll send from our snare to that track by grabbing the routing and dropping it on that track. Notice how the cursor changes to a patch cable, letting us know we're creating a send. And here's the send we created. And let's adjust the level right here. Let's make the reverb bigger by adjusting the room size right here. Right about there, feels good. Now it seems a bit long, but by gating it afterwards, we'll cut off that length. But because it's so big, it'll sound more dense as it cuts off at the end. So now we'll add a gate after it. Double click over here, we use the Reaper gate called Rea gate. So this is gonna cut off the end of the reverb. Let's go to the threshold and adjust it to taste. Now we could adjust the release so it sounds more abrupt. If we shorten it, but it also fizzles out at the end. So we can make it longer so it doesn't do that. What I prefer to do for gated reverb is use the hold setting. So instead of fading out the gate, it's gonna cut off a bit harder, but still hold for as long as we set it. Now in adjusting this, we should probably bring in the rest of the drums so we can hear the timing of the cutoff of the reverb. But let's leave off the piano. Notice how it cuts off at a particular time, creating more rhythm in the part. And it's gonna hold based on the length we set up. Let's hear it now with the piano.
before. Much better. It creates an extra rhythm in the part. But if you notice, we only put it on the snare, as it tends to work better on each instrument separately. But if we want to add it to the others, I would create another reverb for each. So let's do that for the kick. Let's copy the gated reverb and paste it and use this one for the kick. We'll send it to it and adjust this one to taste. Now let's readjust the gate just for the kick gated reverb. We can readjust the threshold as it's catered for the kick. Notice it's glitching at the end. Let's bring up the release. And make the hold a bit shorter. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. Without. And with. Let's hear it with the piano. Now let's just say we want to add another one for the hi-hat. We'll do the same thing. Create another return over here, copy and paste, and bring the hi-hat to that reverb. Again, we'll adjust the send. We're not hearing it yet, because we need to readjust the gate for this gated reverb. and we can play around with the hold and the release. Sounds pretty good right there. So now let's hear it with the rest of the drums. And before, and let's hear it with the piano. And just like that, we set up three separate gated reverbs. One for each drum sound we're using. Again, before. It sounds a bit boring. After. So anyway. That's Gated Reverb in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.